Ladies and gentlemen, now please welcome your host from Mr. World 2003, Susie Perry. Hello and a very warm welcome to a truly international Mr. World 2003. We have got some of the most gorgeous, most talented men from 38 different countries. And we're going to have a lot of fun tonight, and you're going to see a lot more of these boys behind me. They've been in London all week, and we've been putting them through their paces just to see what they're made of. And our judges, well, they've got to know them already. Your turn to meet our judges, the reigning Miss World, Azra Aiken. <laughs> Next to Azra, sports TV presenter Sophie Blake. Gorgeous model Jodie Marsh. And former Mr. World, Tom Nguyen. James Mullins, the picture editor of British GQ magazine. Amelia Trowbridge, award-winning photographer for Esquire and the Sunday Times. And Tia Rockers, TV presenter and more recently, West End producer. And of course, the chairman of the panel and the executive chairman of Mr. World, Julia Morley. Now, we have, yes indeed, we've loved your internet votes, we've already got those votes, so please show your appreciation for our judges. Okay, well, the judges have already met the guys, and it's your turn to meet them in just a few minutes' time. We're going to be bringing them on in small groups so you can have a little look at them. But they've been busy all week, and we wanted to see just what they were made of. So we sent them to an army training camp. Here was their rude awakening to a rather busy day. The men are divided into four groups and will race against the clock. Work helps. The tunnels here are tougher than they look. They're uphill and narrow. The cargo net is eight metres high and it's just as difficult whether you're going up or down. This is one of the easier bits. But this wall is really tough. It's about four metres high and some of the men may need a helping hand. The rope jump and swing call for coordination. The tunnels are hard on both the hands and the knees. <laughs> the monkey bars are the hardest part of the course, and the instructor thoughtfully put them right at the end. Mr. World 2003 on Star World. But it's time now to bring out our first group of boys for you to have a look at. Now they're going to be wearing their beach wear, so steady ladies, and some of it is quite small, I can tell you. You'll also see them wearing clothes designed by Michiko Kashino. Alexey Pershin, I am currently talking part in a project as an actor in an underwater theater. I am reading, dancing, playing piano and basketball. My name is Kaspar Pater. I have a master's degree in economics and woodwork. I have my own information and consultation company. My interest includes sport, dancing and reading. Mr. Germany! My name is Joachim Federer. I am a computer programmer in the car industry. My ambition is to create my own business, which can also go in the direction of modeling. I enjoy all sports and hip-hop dance. Mr. Bulgaria! My name is Daniel Miller. My future ambition is to take my master's degree in economics. 
I am part of a folk dance group and I also enjoy disco and sport. Mr. Belgium! My name is Fabien Hockey. I've taken a course in the restoration of period furniture. My hobbies include the gym, skiing, swimming, and I'm also a lifeguard and ski monitor. This is Mr. Romania. My name is Adrian Ilya Sande. I enjoy racing cars, football, swimming, volleyball, tennis, working out in the gym and dancing. Especially Latino. My ambition is to be a television presenter. I'm Mr. Holland. My name is Bob Henry. I'm studying at the Young Kraft University in Amsterdam. My aim is to obtain a bachelor degree in sport economics. My ambition is to get the best out of myself in cycling and in my education. Here's Mr. Bosnia and Herzegovina. My name is Birna Sidrahimagic. I am in my third year at university studying technology. I enjoy martial arts, especially in Taekwondo, and my ambition is to open my own club. Mr. Albania. My name is Gerald Chow. I'm in fourth year at a high school. I enjoy car racing, music, reading, classic dance, especially basketball. My ambition is to have my own business. And Mr. Ukraine. Mr. Ukraine is called Vasily Pafomo. He is a college student and his ambition is to enter university and study law. His hobbies are motorsports, football, swimming and dance. And he completes our lineup, ladies and gentlemen, for Group 1. Now, it's all very well looking pretty natty on the catwalk, but what about that army assault course? How did they get on? Let's take a look. This is the Red Group. You are a man. Are you? Louder. Yeah! Yeah! Mr. Ukraine taking it very seriously. The mic! Yes! 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 The clock has started. Oh! 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 Those bars are only about 15 centimeters wide. Here comes the wall. Going over the top can be rather painful. The cargo neck is tough on the hand. And this is one of the hottest days of the English summer. The tallest men go in the tunnels first. And see Ukraine being dragged out. The bars on the top are narrow and different heights. The home stretch with the monkey bars when they need all their strength. line is in sight and there's the time for the red group there you go that was group one we've got group two coming out for you now in their beachwear and you'll also see them sporting clothes designed by lind gabwatt My name is Roger Jenkins. I'm currently studying environmental science at university. My hobby is writing and recording my own music. I also hope to further my career in modeling and acting. My name is Zhou Zhuangjian. I have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering and a master's degree in international finance. Now I'm a federal trader of Bank of China head office and I'm the top model of China. Mr. Angola. 
my name is Antonio Lin Valenti. I just come to today school and my ambition is to just wait in information engineering. My hobby includes dancing, singing, perfect school and cheer. I'm Mr. Brazil. My name is Gustavo Cabral Nacadizzi. I study law at university and my ambition is to be an international soccer lawyer. I enjoy soccer, working out in the gym, and all kinds of Brazilian dance. Mr. Aruba. My name is Kelvin Ockenthali. I enjoy travel as it gives me a good perspective of the many different cultures. My favorite pastime is going to the beach as it gives me a chance to relax. Hi, my name is Julian Lee. I have a bachelor's degree in business studies and I aspire to be an entrepreneur. I'm also a passionate dog lover because I think they're one of the best companions a person can hope to have. And Mr. Barbados! My name is Ronnie Morris. I'm an entertainment journalist for one of the Caribbean's leading publications. And I've won over two dozen news awards as both a singer and director of an entertainment agency. Mr. Philippines! My name is Marco Antonio Tomai. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy. I am currently working as a marketing manager in Fitness Center. I love sports, acting and music. Welcome to Austria. My name is Mike Schuller. Since leaving college, I have worked for a computer company and an Italian cafe. My hobbies are soccer and singing, plus every kind of sport and the like to keep fit. My name is Roshan Maslamani. I'm an undergraduate in journalism and hope to become a journalist covering world affairs. My hobbies are camping, safari, wildlife, dancing and playing the guitar. And he completes our second group of contestants for Mr. World 2003. Looking good boys, but how did they get on down at our army of sports course? Let's take a look. Okay, Here's the blue yeah. team. Mr. China is through first, but perhaps a little too soon. Good teamwork in helping each other over the wall. And believe me, it's a long jump down. There's Mr. Wales looking a bit puzzled. Yet more work for those elbows and knees through the tunnel. That's Mr. Aruba being given a helping hand there. The course is one and a half kilometres. Well, they're all still together as they come up to the Trinasium. Climbing on that rope can burn your hands very badly. is the team leader and he's doing very well. He's helping the other contestants. Good time for the blue group. Mr. World 2003 returns after the break on Star World. Doing very well with our boot camp. Now we're going to bring on Group 3 again in their beachwear and this time you'll also see them modelling clothes designed by Kaisha Charles. <laughs> Mr Northern Ireland! My name is Marty McHugh. I'm currently studying engineering and management at the University of Ulster. My hobbies are soccer, reading, socialising and chess. Mr Green! My name is Athanasio Stregilladu. I have a degree in hotel management and I'm currently training in Taekwondo and dreaming of taking part in the Olympic Games. 
This is Mr. Kalecha. Hi, my name is Barmila Hanovic. I currently study economy at university in Vieta. I enjoy music, sports, dancing. I play semi-professional basketball and beach volleyball during the summer. My name is Adam Goody. I graduated college with a business administration diploma and a certificate in hair design. I enjoy rollerblading, snowboarding, swimming, and hockey. I also enjoy doing an effort. London, is it Mr. England? Hello, my name is Johnny Marston. I hope to either train to become a fireman or policeman. I'm a good all-round athlete. I enjoy horse riding, but I'm particular love of football. I also enjoy skiing and running. Mr. Italy's name is Fabrizio Lecca. He is at university studying engineering and his ambition is to be the manager of an international company. His interests include architecture, cinema and sport. Mr. Lebanon. My name is Asad Tarabal. I'm currently studying business marketing. My hobbies are acting, singing, dancing, watching movies, sports and playing the guitar. And also I enjoy writing poems and plays. My name is Gordon Travis. I have an HMG in health and fitness and a foundation degree in performing arts. My hobbies are hawking, working out, dancing, and swimming, and I'm a friend of life. There you go, boy. Mr. Sherpa and Montenegro. My name is Andrej Milantia. I am a student at the Mechanical Engineering University in Belgrade. My ambition is to be an actor and a successful businessman. And Mr. Malta. My name is Matthew Saliba. I work for the Mota EU Information Centre. Next September, I will be attending university to study law. My ambition is to be a lawyer and to work on EU-related affairs. Well, that completes our third group. Looking good, boys. But were they any good? Stand on the assault course. Check this out. This is the green group, and it's still a steaming hot day. Time for a name check. The green group seems to be starting just a little bit slower, I think. going over the top. And Mr. England is first into the tunnel. Mr. Lebanon, and that looks painful. Lashed onto the rope. And Mr. Lebanon looking pleased with himself. Almost the end now. getting a helping hand and there's the time for the greens his ambition is to be a successful industrial designer he enjoys lap and dance reading and sprinting he is also a regional champion in the national athletics championship the 100 meter road my name is Isaac Giriak Burgos. I am studying drama and music. Um, my ambition for the future is to become a good actor. And Mr. Bolivia. Mr. Bolivia's name is Alejandro Suarez Calabria. 
He is currently studying civil engineering. He has written three books and enjoys dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Puerto Rico! My name is Edwin Enrique Iglesias Colón. I wish to continue my studies in the field of communication and marketing. My hobby is to what I've been making for an expedition. And Mr. Guatemala, Motown. My name is Jose Fernando Tucci. I graduated with a bachelor degree in computers and I'm now studying as an industrial engineer. Here's Mr. Mexico. My name is Jose Luis Resende Santos. I have studied drama and international management at the university. I enjoy riding horses, soccer, the gym, karate, and dance. Mr. Uruguay! My name is Andrés Santos. I'm studying animation and graphics, and my ambition is to work in a graphic design, special effects, and forward sight. I enjoy football and snorkeling. And the very glittery Mr. Venezuela! Hi, my name is Andrés Eduardo Mistaje Parim. I'm currently a student studying chemistry. My fourth interests are volleyball, basketball, table tennis, snorkeling, canoeing, and working out in the gym. That is our final group of contestants for Mr. World 2003. But shall we just see if things were glittering on our boot camp for them? These contestants are all Spanish speakers. Arriba! Mr. Guatemala in the centre. <laughs> Mr. Spain is the tallest in the group, so he's helping the others with the wall. <laughs> and he's the last over. There, boys. Perhaps it would be easier if you spaced out a little bit. Stepping stones next, I need a bit of delicate footwork. Guatemala checking his hair. And Mr. Venezuela being pulled out. Spain again in the lead. Oh, and Mr. Mexico nearly getting his feet wet. The last group over this difficult trinasium. waiting for the last group and that's the time for our final contestant Missing World 2003 returns after the break on Star World and when you put a load of Latinos together they get all songs on us have you got any favourites yet? any favourites yet audience? well our judges have got probably of the evening, I would say, but uh, let's see uh, what they're thinking at the moment. Asra, our reigning Miss World, you know exactly what they're going through. What are they feeling up there at the moment? Um, I think they're nervous, but enjoying their time, excited. Thank you. Yeah. Sophie Blake, more you to listening to engines revving in the pit lane. Yeah. Anything to uh, rev in your engine tonight out there? Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. Yeah. Jodie? What do you think? Uh, I think there's some very beautiful men here tonight. <laughs> May the best man win. Absolutely, well we hope so. Tom, you've been Mr. World. Yeah. So you know exactly what they're going for. What are you looking for though as a judge? What I'm looking for, I'm looking for a real person who is not afraid to be real and not wearing, wearing any masks. Okay, don't forget also we have already been logging your internet votes. 
so they can't along with our judges vote. Now, what we need to do is we need to narrow it down to a semi-final, to ten. This is where you have got to get working, judges. But before we do that, let's take a look at the boys just one more time. mind at time, semi-final, just 10 men can go through. But before we decide which 10 are going to go through, let's see which group fared best at the Army Assault Camp. So gentlemen, congratulations to you all okay, for a very good effort from all teams. Today, in joint third position, the blue team and the steel team. from Russia, Latvia, Germany, Bulgaria, Belgium, Romania, Holland, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine. After all that hard work, time to see some of the sights of London. wanted to see the Mr. World contestants, so they were invited onto the popular Terry and Gabby show. Well, that's 
our contestants for Mr. World 2003, but it is now time to narrow it down to our semi-final, and we can only choose ten. Oh. But I have them here in my hand. Guys, you've all been absolutely fantastic. These are the ten going through to our semi-final. Congratulations, Mr. Mexico! Mr. Belgium! that makes these guys want to be Mr. World. Let's find out now. Do you need to have a translator, Mr. Mexico? Oh, yes, I'm going to need because I'm, I'm going to express a lot of emotions because they are so important to me there. So, but, but first of all, you look beautiful to me, really. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm not sure that you're going to need a translator. Oh, um, you know, I can express very well. I can see that. Now tell us why you want to be Mr. World. Bueno, la verdad yo quisiera ser Mr. World y tener la corona porque ocuparía la publicidad para hacer campañas en pro de la pobreza en mi país. Me gustaría eh, mejorar la cultura mexicana. I would like to win Mr. World in order to accentuate the problems of poverty in this country and use the title and the publicity that comes with it to good use, good end. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Mexico. Thank you. thank you. And good luck this evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's find out now about Mr. Belgium. Okay. Mr. Belgium. Ooh. You've got some fans out there tonight. There's only one person here for me, I think. But I thank them all. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they'd love that. Um, now, if you won this contest, what would it mean to you? It means very much to me. And I, after this, if I could win this contest, and I want to send out a message to the world, like it's very important to live healthy 
if they see me in a, in a newspaper or in a magazine, they remember me and go sporting and eat healthy and all those things. That's Thank you very much, Mr. Belgium. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Yes, sir, Venezuela, you'd like a translator? Yes. Okay, yes. can we have our translator, please? Thank you very much. Now, when you said that you were going to enter Mr. World, what did your friends say to you? ¿Qué has dicho tus amigos cuando dices que quieres entrar en esta competición? Al principio, mi padre y mis amigos, este, siempre con un, con un poquito de, de curiosidad, pero al después siempre me apoyaron al 100% para estar aquí. Este, mi logro más grande fue ganar el Mister Venezuela, ¿no? Y fue una, fue una experiencia muy grande y fue, fue mi primer escalón. At the beginning, his family friends were a little curious as to why he wanted to transfer it, but when he was sure about it, um, they backed him 100% through Mr. Venezuela to victory and here in Mr. World. Yes, sir. Mr. Venezuela, good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Now then, Mr. Aruba, you require a translator? No, thank you. Oh, that's very good. So you've studied English for a while, have you? Yeah, I've been to Sahapo um, and there are le many languages. What other languages do you speak? I uh, really don't like Spanish, uh, German, um, English, Dutch, Papimento. Wow, no wonder you couldn't remember all that. That's, that's pretty good going, isn't it? <laughs> and um, what, what is it about you? Why do you think that you should win Mr. World? My goal to come up to become Mr. World is I want to touch as many hearts as possible as I can. Uh, I think Mr. Aruba has already done that, so thank you very much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Mr. Barbados, Ronnie, good evening. What would make you Mr. World? What would make me Mr. World is that I embody many things. I've been through many experiences, both the good and the bad. As a youngster, I lived in a home. There were 16 of us with two bedrooms and one bathroom. So I know what it's like to live and be in deprivation and be in poverty. And I believe that this experience is going to allow me to share with others the fact that despite where you come from, you can become somebody. And right now, I think I'm living that dream. And I want to thank all of you for that. And thank you very much. Good luck this evening. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Singapore. Hi, lovely. Did you hear that? Hi, lovely. Hey. What would make you the right choice? Be Mr. World. As an insulin-dependent diabetic, I have to inject myself daily to stay alive. And um, I know how it's like to people with disabilities. So I want to tell them to take heart because what doesn't break you will make you stronger. Oh, well. Great answer. Thank you very much. Good luck this evening. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Brazil, why do you want to be Mr. World? Why? Oh. So it's going to be a pleasure to present to Brazil, this wonderful country, in this huge world. And I think the, the base is that I would like to travel around the world and gain knowledge and for sure see the cultures in most parts of the country in this world and I think it is huh? okay, fantastic, Gustavo, Mr. Brazil, thank you very much thank you. well done on getting this far now, Mr. Lebanon Assad why do you want to be Mr. Well? first of all I would like to say <coughs> <laughs> hello I think that uh, I would like to visit other countries, uh, learn their cultures, their traditions, and maybe I will let, her, let them uh, learn from me. And uh, I would like to say that we are guys, not only beautiful guys, <laughs> we are not only beautiful guys from the outside, we are really beautiful from the inside. There are guys here the characters, but they, they, they are leaders, they are leaders of their countries. 
No, no. I want to speak more. Well, you might get down to speak more if you get through to the next part. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lebanon, good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now then, Mr. People's Republic of China, why do you want to be Mr. World? Just challenge, I think. I like challenge and I will make progress every day, every day. I think, be a brave man. You have right to choose whether you will do something. But if you do, try your best to and you can never see give up. I think it's the most important to a common guy and especially to a Miss World. Thank you. Thank you very much and good luck to you this evening. Thank you. And last but not least, Mr. Malter, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. What would you do if you won Mr. World? Mr. World would be a great opportunity for me to um, get a message to the rest of the world that no matter where you come from and what, you, what, you, what happened to you in life, you can always make it to the top. Um, I have been a, a person who was brought up in a family of domestic violence and that is, a quality, that is something I would like to show to the world that I'm completely not right, no matter how bad the situation is. Um, a person can always get out of it and actually make it to where he wants to and uh, to convey a message to the rest of the population that this thing must stop and things happen all around the world with domestic violence, be it the partner, be it the children and it must not be allowed. Thank you very much, Mr. Norton. Thank you, good luck. Very brave answer there. Miss the World 2003 returns after the break on Star World. Ten great semi-finalists there, but now our judges must narrow it down to the top five because we must have a winner of Mr. World 2003. Now they're busy trying to make up their minds, and while they are busy themselves, let me introduce you to a former Mr. World, and Mr. Belgium is Tom Newen. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. So, what year did you win Mr. World in? It was 96. Yeah. And did it, uh, did it change your life at all? Actually, it did change my life a lot. Because I, I think it's one of the most learnful experiences I've ever experienced. Because you learn to, to, to get connected uh, to different kind of cultures. And you know to learn what outer purposes are, like uh, raising money for orphanages, which I did in uh, Sri Lanka. So it develops me easier and faster so I think right now I'm able to pay for it and that's what I want to do and I think uh, I think that's what life is all about you know okay well let me just take you back to when you actually won Mr. World what was it like it was a great experience because uh, it was really fun it was not like contestants among each other it was more like friends so uh, it was uh, a wonderful experience Okay, now I think the judges may well have made their decision for the top five. So Jodie Marsh, our lovely model, is going to bring them in. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is wearing not very much at all. Woo wow, looking fantastic. Jodie, how difficult were the decisions tonight, would you say? Um, I had no idea it was going to be this difficult and um, I'm not even enjoying it anymore. <laughs> Okay, well, give me that envelope. Oh, I've got those top five there. Thank you very much. I'll just turn that over and have a little look. And say thank you very much to Tom and to Jodie. Thank you. Okay, then, let's bring on our ten semi-finalists to one final look. they are the 10 semi-finalists now we've got to narrow it down to five but don't you think they've all been fantastic okay here we go our first finalist is
Race to Brazil. Congratulations, Mr. Lebanon. Our third finalist, Mr. Barbados. now, Mr. Mexico. And our final finalist is Mr. Belgium. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the back five, but well done. Thank you. Now then, ladies, what do we like when we go out on a date? Do we like a little bit of flirtation? I think we do. Mr. Brazil, if you were to take me on a date, where would you take me? What would we do? I think where is not important. But... <laughs> not that important. But... For sure, I'm... I'm going to look at your eyes and say for you that I have much more to show you than a nice face, a beautiful body. I think my real beauty is inside, in my mind, in my actions, my feelings. That sounds very good to me. Thank you very much. Okay, let's move along then. Mr. Lebanon, I wonder what Mr. Lebanon would do if he took me on a date, what do you think? Uh, well, here I'm, uh, I'm known as Lovinon, <laughs> Mr. Lovinon. <laughs> Mr. Lovinon? <laughs> okay, because here we are in London, I would tell you, shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely, more temperate. We're going to go out to dinner today, and you'll never forget Mrs. Lebanon's romantic date. Wow, what do you say to that? Thank you very much. It sounds good, sounds good. Let's move along. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Belgium. Hello. What are we going to do on our date? Can you stand over here for a moment? Well, it's not important. Or how I will ask you, it's also not important. But I would definitely... Definitely sweep you off your feet. You certainly did do that, Mr. Belgium. Thank you very much. taken aback by that. Mr. Mexico, can you yeah. beat that? Well, first of all, how I said before, you are beautiful. And I like the surprises. And I'm a, I'm a very romantic person. And I really like dance. Can I show you? Uh, of course. Of Sh course. Please show us. Like, like salsa. Un, dos, tres. Un, dos, tres. Sorry, 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 sorry. But in Mexico it's like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I think so. Thank you very much, Mr. Mexico. Thank you. And last but definitely not least, Mr. Barbados. What shall we do on our date? Well, first, of course, I'll take you to Barbados. And then as the sun sets, you'll walk on the warm sand. You'll board a boat this big enough for two. Oh. And then I'll do this. Brown eyed girl, come walk with me. A brown eyed girl. Thank you. Mr. 
Barbados. Ladies and gentlemen, our five finalists, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how you're going to choose judges. They're all beavering away over there trying to decide exactly who should be our Mr. World 2003. What a difficult job. But they have got to do it. They've got to work hard. And now, while they're doing that, I'd like to introduce you to a very, very sexy, beautiful lady from Italy. A former model who has appeared on magazines like Vogue. And she's now changed her career to a singer. And she's here with her new single, All I Need. Please welcome the very fabulous Barbara Baldieri. Now, the time is drawing near. We will be announcing shortly who has won Mr. World 2003. And it's our judges here who've decided. Now, James, you're a photographer. Did you see any photogenic faces out there today? They're all great guys in the day, and they've all got great faces, but it's kind of distinguishing which ones are the most sophisticated, the most intelligent, and are going to do the best thing with their title. And it's a, it's a tough job. Is there any one of those out there in the top five? You don't have to name names that you would put in GQ. There are at least five out of the five, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice answer. And uh, Amelia, you're a, a photographer as well. What, what do you feel you've seen tonight in the guys? Well, I've seen some beautiful men, but it's also about, you know, their, their, their characters for me, what's inside, you know, and that comes through, especially with photography for me. 
fabulous, Cleo. What did you think? Because it is more about looks. It's about what they're thinking and the way they are, what's inside. But we've had some quite complex characters, haven't we, to try and sit through. Yeah, they weren't dull. Nobody was, was dull. And one thing I really can say tonight is that I can't go home and complain that there are no great men left on the planet because we just saw 38 of them. It was a really, really tough decision. Well, I know it's been an incredibly difficult decision for you all to make, but the winner has been chosen. Before we tell you who will win Mr. World 2003, let's bring on our final five finalists. Here they are, big round of applause. <laughs> all of them all beautiful inside and out now it's the moment of truth and to announce the winner please welcome the chairman of our judges julian morley i will announce the results in reverse order and so in third place is uh, Belgium. <laughs> In second place is Mr. Lebanon. <laughs> and Mr. World 2003 is Mr. Brazil. Yeah.